Bonjour et bienvenue chez French Sounds. Welcome to French Sounds. I've had several requests to talk about the differences between the O and the A in French. They are both back vowels. In other words, the tongue is back. The lips are rounded. But for the O, the tongue is a little higher than for the A. Let's discuss first the more open sound, the a. Uh. It is normally found in the final syllable of a word when the word ends in a consonant sound and the syllable contains the letter o. For example, you would have the a uh in école. Encore. Bun, odd. You can also find the sound if you have the spelling AU in front of an R. For example, lor or mor. It is also heard in some borrowed words with the um pronunciation. For example, in album or maximum. It's found also in the adjective bon when bon is followed by a, a masculine singular word that begins in a vowel sound. The on denasalizes into a. Un bon ami. Un bon ami. Now let's move on to the O sound, the more closed version. You can find it in final position of words where you have the spelling AU or EAU, whether or not there is a pronounced consonant. You might have it without a consonant, you might have it with a silent consonant, or you might have it with a pronounced consonant, except for the R, which we discussed earlier. So for example, you would have bo, sho, il saute. The same is true for the O with an accent circonflex. You can have, for example, allo, where it's in final position in the spelling of the word. You can have it with a silent consonant, such as in to or bien to. And you can also have it with a pronounced consonant, such as la côte, le rôle. The sound O is also found when words end in the letter O, usually in abbreviations, such as la dactylo. You can also find it when you have an O followed by a silent consonant. For example, le do, le po. Another example can be found when you have an O, the spelling of O, in front of a Z sound. La rose or la chose. There are a few words where you can find the O in front of the sound S, such as grosse or fausse. It's also used in La Place des Vosges or L'Aune. Très bien. Now let's move on to syllables that are not in word final position. In these cases, you will often find a sound that is somewhat intermediate between the O 
and the a. Uh. Take for example the word la moto. La moto. The first o is not a uh, as in port, and it's not o as in bo. It's somewhere in the middle. M o o o o, not a and not o. A la moto, la moto. Le monologue, le monologue. Notice that the first two o's are somewhat intermediate, and the final o is the a uh sound. Log, because it has the g ending the syllable in word final position. You can hear that intermediate sound also in a word such as soleil. So, a, a, lay. It's not a, it's so, a. Soleil. The caution here is that depending on the region and even on the individual native speaker, there will be a preferential use of either a more closed or more open sound in non-stressed position. In other words, in syllables that are not word final. So you might hear, for example, instead of soleil, you would hear le soleil. And instead of mauvais, mauvais, you would hear mauvais. Those are simply variations in usage. Another usage is when you have the spelling O followed in the word by the sounds sion. Normally that O is the more closed version, the O sound. For example, la notion. La potion. Let's work on some pairs of words to show the difference between the a and the o. Répétez après moi, s'il vous plaît. Un os. Un os. Des os. Des os. Notre, notre, le nôtre, le nôtre, votre, votre, le vôtre, le vôtre, sotte, sotte, Saut, saut, pomme, pomme, paume, paume, gosse, gosse, grosse. Grosse, basse, basse, fausse, fausse. I know it sounds a little confusing and there are many exceptions, but with a little practice and without worrying too much about the intermediate O sound in non-final position. You should be fine. Alors, merci et à la prochaine. Au revoir.